Hello learners, welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is teacher Jonathan and today in grade 4 mathematics we are still converting units of time and today we'll be converting minutes to hours. We'll be converting minutes to hours. And for a start, how do we tell time? How do we tell time? In our previous lesson, we learned how to convert hours to minutes. And using the, face, the clock face, we said the longer hand is the minute hand and the shorter hand is the hour hand. And we said our clock face has small subdivisions and each subdivision, as you can see them, it stands for one minute. So all of them, as you count them, they are 60 in number. And we said because they are minutes, the 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour. That is what we said. When the minute and clocks moves all the way around here, it means now the shorter and or the hour and will also move one hour. Now, we said 60 minutes, 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour. When the shorter or the longer and clocks all the way around up to here, the hour and will move one full hour. Now, 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour. Learners, now what about 120 minutes? 120 minutes. If now our minute and has clocked 120 minutes, it means these are how many hours? What do we do? Now, in our groups, you can tell us, you can discuss what do we do now to get the hours? What do we do now to get the hours? This is our formula. If 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour, 60 minutes, uh, 120 minutes will be equivalent to what? It means now we cross multiply. It means now it is 60, it is 120 multiplied by one hour divided by 60 minutes. 120 minutes multiplied by one hour divide by 60 minutes. I've written in short. So minutes will divide minutes. We remain with hour. 60 here, we can divide zero and zero. We remain with 12 and six. 12 divided by six. Remember we said multiplication and division, they are related. 12 divided by six, it means there is six multiplied by something else to get 12. So you come to a multiplication table. You go to the multiplication table of six. What do I multiply by six to get 12? The first, if you multiply by number one is six, you multiply by two is 12. So it means six multiplied by two is 12. 12 divided by six is two. So we get two hours, two hours. So 120 minutes is equivalent to two hours. You can also do this. You can also do this. Remember, when we were doing division using our own ways, we said division is repeated subtraction. Division is repeated subtraction. So how, do, how is it repeated here? How will it apply here? This is what we'll do. 120 minutes. Remember, we have said we are taking away 60 minutes. So we, we take away 60 minutes. And when we take away 60 minutes, it means we remain with 60. Then again, 60, take away another 60 minutes. We remain with zero. So how many 60 have we taken away? We have taken away the first one and the second one. So it means it's one, two. We have two hours. You can use division as a repeated subtraction or you use the way we have used here, the relationship between multiplication and division. Learners, if 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour, if 60 minutes are equivalent to one hour, now, what about these minutes are equivalent to how many hours? Look at this one, 240 minutes are equivalent to how many hours? In our groups, Victoria, what do we do? We remember we have said 
you can divide and you look at the relationship or you do repeated subtraction. So if you are to divide the way we did the first one, you will do the second one. We have said you cross multiply to 6 to 40 multiplied by one hour, 240 minutes multiplied by one hour, then you divide by 60 minutes. We have said when you reach there, minutes will divide by minutes, we remain with one unit, that is hours. A zero can divide another zero. Now, we have 24 divided by 6. What is the relationship? 24 divided by 6 is what? Or in other words, what do I multiply by 6 to get 24? You come again to the multiplication of 6. 6 multiplied by 4 to get 24. I multiplied by 4 to get 24. So it means they are 4 good hours. 4 hours. I've said you can use also repeated subtraction. So you take 240, take away 60. When you take away 60, you remain with what? When you take away 60, you remain with 0. We are taking away 0. Then here we have 8, 1. We are remaining with 180. Can we take another 60 here? Yes, we can take away another 60. When you take away another 60, you will get what? You will get 0 and 2, 1. This is what we are remaining. Can this take away another 60? Yes, we take away again 60. And when you take away 60, you remain with 0, 6. Can 60 take away another 60? Yes, because our aim is to remain with 0, which is equal to 0. So how many times has 60 been taken away? It has been repeated, repeated subtraction. How many times? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we say 240 minutes are equivalent to 4 hours. Learners, this is how we convert minutes into hours. Now, I have a task for us to do. Our task or the exercise for today, convert Convert to hours, into hours. What are we converting into hours? Number one, we are converting the following into hours, 300 minutes. Number two, we are converting 420 minutes. We are converting them to hours. Number three, we are also converting 80 minutes. Number four, number four, we are converting also 210 minutes. And the last one, the last one, number five, we are converting 160 minutes. Learners, this will help us familiarize very well on how to convert minutes to hours. Minutes to hours. Remember to do more practice. At home, involve your parents, your guardians, and your siblings. Help you convert minutes into hours. Hope the lesson was enjoyable. See you next time.